Good afternoon, everyone. Now, on the last video, we were talking about how to take a number, like, uh, I'll just write down a little example over here. You don't have to write anything down. Like, say we had the number 11, and we wanted one more. That would be, what's one more than 11? Well, it's 12. Or we would say, what is one less. That, now what's one less than 11? Now if we're looking at a number line, we're going to jump backwards one. And one less is 10. Or they also said, what is 10 more? Ten more than eleven is let's see, we're just going to add one to the tens place, right? For ten more, which makes it twenty one. And then they also asked what is ten less? And we were take away just from that tens uh, place again which would make it 1. I know it's not as straightforward as it was yesterday because we had that 100 chart, but I just wanted to go through a quick reminder of the things we went through, okay? So if you're still a little iffy and maybe a little confused about it, it's okay because today we're kind of doing the same thing except they give us this really cool uh, piece of a 100 chart to work with. So let's go into using this 100 chart. Just gonna take away stuff I wrote down there so it doesn't get mixed up. Okay, so now for number one and number two, we are going to focus on this number 33, which is why I'm making the box red. Make it red because this is the one we're focusing on. Okay, so uh, and for number one, they're asking, what is one more than 33? And so if we use a 100 chart, we are going to look at this number that we're focusing on, and we're going to jump over just one box, which is going to mean plus one. So if we go one more over, we're going to have 34, right? So now we can say one more than 33 is 34. Now for number two, they're asking something similar, but they kind of want what I would say is the opposite. And they're saying, what is one less than 33. Now, one less than 33, we can go back to our 100 chart up here. And instead of going forward, we take one jump backwards, and which is going to be like minus one. So if we're going to take one away from 33, we're then going to have 32. And see how it's kind of filling in this number chart? This 100 chart that we have, as we go forward and backwards, it's kind of filling in all the spaces. So now we can say one less than 33, that number that we're focusing on, one less is 32. Okay? So when we jump forward one, it is going to be like saying plus one. We're going to make it one bigger. And when we go backwards, it's like saying minus one, and we're going to get smaller just by one. So for number, I'm actually going to change the color for this. Now for number three and number four, we are going to focus on this other number on our 100 chart right here. So it's the, num it's the number 48. And here 
instead of saying one more or one less, they want to know what is 10 more than 48. What is 10 more than 48? Well, if we take our 100 chart, and we want to go closer to where the 100 would be, which is where this, this guy's face is. This is where the 100 would be if we had a whole 100 chart. So if we go down, we are going to get a bigger number. And we skip down a whole row to get to the next 10. So if we jump down a row, it's like saying plus 10. And you can see how this row is all 40s. It starts at 41. And if we kept going, it would be 42 and 43. And then 44. See how it's just all 40s? But then we jump down a row. We're at 51. And we went to the 50s. And so it would be then 52 and 53. See? So when we jump down a row, we're adding 10. And only this number here in the 10 spot, that 4, that's the only number it's going to change. That's it. So now we can set, we can figure this out. So if we make this 10 spot bigger, it's going to be oh, it's going to be 58. All right? So now we know that 10 more than 48 is 58. Now for number 4, let's take a look at this. They're saying what is 10 less than 48? So if we already know that if we jump down a row on our 100 chart that the numbers get bigger, the way things going to happen if we go up a row? What's going to happen over here? Well, that is going to be how we get 10 less, which is kind of like saying minus 10. So if we do that, again, only our uh, tens house number, that 4, is going to change. So if this changes, what's going to be the next set of 10 smaller than 48? Well, that's going to be 38. And if you look at your 100 chart, you can see that over here we have all 30s. So we were in a row with all 40s. And when we go up one, we're now in a row with all 30s. Because our 10s house has changed from a 4 to a 3. It's 10 less. Alright, and to double check, we can even continue this uh, whole row. And say, well, let me double check here and make sure I'm at the right one. After 34, or 35. Then 36, then we'd have 37, and then 38. So we did everything right. 10 less than 48 is 38. Okay, now let's open up our packets and go to the next page. All right, I'll give everyone a couple more seconds to open up to the inside page of your work mats. All right, everyone should have their work mats open by now. Let's go over the directions. It says complete the 100 chart sections. So these squares are like taking parts out of a 100 chart. Okay, use cubes if needed. Um, if you really want to use cubes, just let me know. I'll make sure that you guys have cubes. Uh, let's take a look at how they did this. Okay, so. 33. First, let's do the easy one. Let's do our one more. All right, that's the that's the side. And then over here we have one less. 
So we have one more over here, one less over here. So now what is one more than 33? Well, if we count on, we go 33, 34. So now we can fill in that 34. We know how they get how they got it. Now we need to figure out what is one less than 33. So when we're talking about one less, we're, remember, we're just focusing on this last number there, the three on the in the ones house. That is the only one that's gonna change. So if you make this one the one's house smaller just by one, we're then going to have thirty two. Okay, so now let's do the one that's a little bit trickier, and we're going to talk about 10 more and 10 less. Now, this gets confusing because when we think more, we kind of always want to go up to the top, but not with a 100 chart. So let's stop, start with 10 less. And I'm going to, I'm writing all this in red so it stands out that we're working with tens now. We're working with the tens house. So the only number we're going to change is the tens house for 33. There's just this one size going to change. That's it. Nothing else. So if we make it 10 less, that means this 10 spot will just get one less. It'll get smaller by one. So it's, which means this three will turn into a two. Because that's one less than three. But the one's house stays the same. And for this bottom part, we're going to write ten more. Because this is ten more when we go down. Because that's what's getting closer to the 100. The 100 is at the bottom of the chart. All right. And remember, just the tens house is going to get bigger by one, which means that three will turn into a four. And this one's house will stay the same. That's all. All right, now I would really like for everyone to try number two on their own. And then we're going to go over it together. Okay, I'll give everyone a minute. All right, I think that was enough time. Let's go over it. Now, for my ones, and don't forget, guys, I did all this over here on number one for you. So that way, you have something to look back at to help you out a little bit. So let's do our ones first. We're going to do one more first. And I'm going to do all the ones in blue. And which means the only number that's changing is our ones house. So the number six is going to be the only one that changes. And if we jump over one, it gets bigger by one. That means that we're going to turn this 46 into a 47. And now let's look at, at the other side, which is going to be one less. So one less than 46 is like jumping backwards on a number line. So if we jump back, back to here, it's going to get smaller by one. And it's going to be 45. All right. Now let's do the slightly tougher one. Now let's do our tens, which I'll do in red so you know we're only working with tens which means we're only changing this tens house. 
that's the only number that's going to change when we move up or down on our 100 chart. So, let's see. If we want... I always like doing the top first. This is going to be 10 less. There we go. We have 10 less. Now, what is 10 less? Well, that means we're just changing this 4 and making it smaller by 1. So our 10's house changes by 1. Can you see how this 10 has a 1 in the 10's house? That means it's changing just the 4. Because this 0, that 0 can't change a 6. No way. But this 1, it can change the 4. And it'll make it smaller by 1 when we go up on our 100 chart. So I'll make it from a 46 to a 36. All right. And then when we go down close to the 100, that would be way down here. It's going to be 10 more. So 10 more, which means that this 1 in the 10's house and 10 is going to make this 4 bigger by just one. Okay, so it's going to change it from a 46 to a 56. All right, now try number three all on your own. I'll give everyone a minute. You can always look back at number one to help you and number two that we did to help you, okay? I'll give you a minute. Go ahead and work on it. All right, everyone, I think that might have been enough time. Let's go over number three together. And first, let's do our uh, one more, one less. I'll write those in blue numbers. And you'll see I already kind of made uh, the plus one, the minus one, the minus 10, the plus 10. Instead of writing, you know, more or less, I put a plus sign or a minus sign. To me, it's just a little bit easier. But if it really helps you to write the words more or less, you can absolutely do that. So for one more, one less, we're only going to change this to because it's in the ones house. And if we jump over one, making it bigger plus one, this 52 is going to turn into a 53. So now we know one more than 52 is 53. But what's one less? Well, one less than 52, remember? So what's one less than two? It's one, which makes this 51. So that's one less. So one less than 52 is 51. One more than 52 is 53. Let's do 10 more. Let's do the bottom part first, which means we're only changing this five that's in the tens house. That's it. So, since there is a 1 in the 10's house here, that means we're going to change this 5 by 1, which makes this 52 into a 62. Remember, the 1's house will not change because we're adding 10. This 0 cannot change that 2. It can't. If you add 2 to 0, you get 2. Now let's do 10 less. Well, let's see. Got to focus on that 10's house, which is 1. 1 less than 5 is 
4. So it changes the 52 into a 42. But also, if it helps you, you can also fill in these little corners. I used to do that all the time. So say you're having trouble with uh, minus 2. You can kind of fill in around this to make it look more like a 100 chart. So maybe I, I might say, you know what? Maybe if I do, well, I can't do 50 over here. Because the row starts at 51. Let's see. Then we have 54. Oh, man. What would be below 53? Oh, uh, you know what? That, that's 63. Yeah, that's what it is. And what's more than that? Oh, well, that's uh, 40. Three. If it helps you, you can absolutely do that. I used to do that all the time just to figure out this one box, you know? So we all have all have our little tricks. If you have your own little trick to help you out with this, I would love to know what it is. So if you end up doing something that's different than what we talk about that really helps you out, let me know what it is. I would love to find out what kind of tricks you guys use to help yourselves figure out these problems. Um, so... Now that we did number two and three together, go ahead and do number four all on your own and do the rest of the packet also. Uh, please don't tell each other answers. I need to know who needs help. If you're all done, there's going to be extra worksheets on the back table and you can also do a 100 chart. You can do a 100 chart puzzle and um, if you do all that, then you can also do a math uh, addition and subtraction facts coloring sheet. Okay. I will talk